This is the Washington Ditch Boardwalk Trail, um, elevated boardwalk going back to the swamp. Goes from a uh, little upland area of pine here, mostly drops off into typical swamp fuels or swamp vegetation. Um, used to be cypress, now it's uh, a little bit of cypress and still um, basically a, a wet mess. We uh, did first fire entry into this unit yesterday. Um, got the upland areas uh, with some pine component to burn pretty well. Um, some of the things that didn't have that pine component um, didn't burn very well. Um, fully sheltered, so we really needed um, some wind, which was actually in the forecast, which we didn't get to help push things together without. Uh, Without the good fuel bed um, that we had in here with the pine, just didn't uh, didn't materialize. Um, the the upland areas um, burned really well for uh, for first fire entry, so happy with that. And we also did not burn up the boardwalk. And uh, part of the strategy here, since this is a public use area, is to do some fuels reduction. Um, this is within our designated hazard zone for. Uh, for our fuels allocation and uh, accountability system, so this uh, this killed um, several birds with one stone here. This is a portion of the Washington Ditch prescribed fire burn unit post burn. We're about a week post burn now. Um, you can see in the video there's a, a great deal of, of large diameter deadened down in this unit. And that is um, in large part from the fire exclusion um, at least since the inception of the refuge so it's been um, a good 40 years there's also a very deep buildup of, of duff and litter in here so a first fire entry um, a week or so ago um, helped reduce some of that litter uh, got some consumption of some of the heavies and are moving it toward uh, the proper fire regime and condition class um, to to make it ecologically more uh, viable and also to uh, to reduce some of the wildfire risk um, adjacent to a public use area here on the refuge. This is part of the Washington Ditch Prescribed Fire Project, a hazard fuels project, and also a resilient landscapes project targeting longleaf pine restoration. We're looking north and west down an old rail bed that was established at the turn of the century to uh, facilitate removing timber out of, out of this area. Um, there's ditches dug on both sides of the, the rail bed, um, full water at the moment, which actually served as, uh, as the unit boundaries. If we pan across, we see a few uh, mature loblolly pines in here. These are um, older trees. Um, but we also see, as we pan, um, if you look carefully enough, there's some remnant old broken down stumps out in there. Um, some of those are probably remnant longleaf pine. The, uh, the literature is kind of vague on, on identifying something at that point, but given their age and uh, condition of decay and also if you, uh, if you break the stump up and, and pull some of it out, it has a very strong resin smell, which is associated with that lighter wood that is typically longleaf pine. The uh, objective of burning this area um, now and in the future will be that, uh, that reintroduction of fire regimes um, that were associated with longleaf, and um, if we uh, if we get enough fire entries in here and get it opened up a bit, we can probably look at this area, at parts of it anyway, as uh, potential uh, restoration sites for longleaf.